Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video and welcome to the new champion, Gwen. So we're giving her a go. She's an AP top plane duelist, apparently. And we're going to have a good time. So this is my first time ever playing it. Oh, I've only got one potion. First time ever playing it. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. We're against a Maud. So it might not be the easiest matchup. Oh, oh God. There we go. There we go, chat. Uh, 2,500 smash biddies from Hanky. Thank you much, dude. Again, if you're just tuning into the YouTube channel, apologies. Um, <laughs> my Twitch audience decided to go a bit crazy right now. You literally have the start of making this video. So there we have it. They'll calm down soon, I'm sure. Alice Apples with 14 months of Prime as well. Thank you so much. So if you don't know, this is the new upcoming champion. It's Gwen. She's a doll that was brought to life like Pinocchio. So that's why she doesn't look like a doll. And she's apparently an AP duelist top lane. Apparently, if you do control three. I don't know what it is. How many subs? 1,200? Seven, I think. All right, so let's see how it goes. First time playing it. So just reminding everybody. Uh, March 15, 56 with a gifty subby as well. Thank you much, dude. Um, this is PBE. So I want to say it right away. Please, I've always warned people. Don't get incredibly baited by PBE YouTuber content saying that everything's broken and what the hell's Riot doing because that gives you more views. I'm going to do my best in this video to give you guys honest opinion about it. If I think she's too strong, I'll say it. If I think she's underwhelming, I'll say it. But I'm not going to just scream and shout that everything's crazy because that will get me more views. And everybody in the game, reminding everybody, are uh, different ranks, different ping levels. She's very squishy. Um, different, yeah, different levels of play, different ranks, different ping. I'm on 100 ping, which I'm normally on 20. So the game for my, for me does feel quite laggy because compared to what I'm used to, it feels very different. Again, mods, I, I'm not incredibly chuffed to wear against a mod. Um, because mod is a bit of a weird, like he's, he's, mod in essence is a counter to duelist champion. So we've basically just been counter picked. And obviously, our Twitch audience person knew that we were going to play Gwen. Um, so maybe they picked Maud on purpose to counterpick me, but I don't know. Because obviously Maud is the isolation champion. He gains stats from isolating people, and he gains damage with his Q for isolating Qs. And I'm wanting to 1v1 people, so Maud is just naturally good into 1v1s. Uh, Butter Sponge, 39. 50 months of Prime. Thank you so much, Butter Sponge. How'd you get 20 ping? It's just on my natural server I get 20 ping. Um, Maddie, thank you much for the tier 2 sub for 6 months. Very kind. So how does she feel? First impression right away. Feels relatively smooth. She feels squishy. So build wise or runes etc. I'm doing conqueror and sorcery. Giving that a go. I just don't know exactly. Oh, so Snip actually scales. So your Q does actually. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what? That was weird. Hanky with a thousand plus ultra. He's trying to give it to the, get it to the level. <laughs> the level five hype train. Thank you, dude. That's very kind. Um. Your snip, your Q actually does stack off minions. I weirdly thought when we did the the rundown, so the, the snips here, by the way, that tells you how many you've got. Um, I thought it would only scale from champion auto attacks, but it scales from both minions and champions. Okay, what's it telling me to do? Rift? I prefer the idea of Rift, I think. Personally. Can the enemy see how many stacks? I don't actually know. So remember, anything in the middle of the queue does true damage. Hmm, that was weird. I don't know when, like, like again, it's a brand new champion. We're going to not know the ins and outs straight away. <laughs> um, 
I want to know when I feel like I would be confident to go all in. The only reason I won that is because I based and I had item advantage. If I didn't have item advantage, I wasn't winning that. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Lock Goom with a gifty sub. Either much Lock Goom. Thanks for the level 3 hype train, guys. Very kind. Oh, wait, what? Bammy's on board. What? I like the idea of Rift Maker more, I think. Because, like, this champion is designed to be in combat for quite a long time, I think, from the get go. So the E... What does the E do? So again, just to go over abilities, the Q is the snip snip thing, that you can get more snips. <laughs> I don't know who this is. <laughs> Someone made an account yesterday. I saw them use their Prime sub, and they just give Ted 10 subs earlier, and they just did 1,500 biddies. Huzzy's Taco Bell order. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. <coughs> what? That does no damage. Oh, wow. That does very little damage. What? But yeah, thank you very much, Huzzy's Taco Bell Order, for the Prime Sub last night. The uh, 10 gifted subs and the 1,500 biddies. <laughs> Screw you for the name, though. Hey, Creeper. I bet it's Nessie. That's my bet. Alright. So, yeah, the ultimate felt very lackluster. Again, I want to go through the abilities during combat. It's just this game has been busy so far. So, the Q is the snip snip. So it by default snips twice. If you do four more auto attacks on minions or whatever, you can then get four more extra snips. So then it does six snips. Anything in the literal center of the snip, it does true damage. The W is the untargetable ability um, that if you're in the in the arena and whoever's fighting you is out of the arena, you get hit by nothing, everybody. Literally nothing. Um, so if someone Lux altered you, it would not hit you. If even if it landed and Lux is out to the arena, it's on top of you, doesn't hit you. E, uh, this is a little thing that I've got to get used to a bit more. This is a dash. It empowers an, her next f uh, auto attacks for four seconds. More attack speed, more on hit magic damage, and actually a little bit more range. And then the ultimate, it's basically old Aurelia ulti that she's firing blades out. And if you land the first blade, it then enables you to ultimate again. I'm actually going to let that fall because Mordekaiser isn't going to get that. Oops, I didn't get the cannon. Um, it then enables you to do the second uh, blades, which, you know, it's one blade to begin with, then three, then five. And yeah, you have to land basically all of them. Oh, we blocked his E. Oh, that's naughty. That's naughty, dude. That's a bit naughty. <laughs> That's a bit. That's a bit. Oh, I think I was dead anyway, but... Eh. This champion doesn't feel strong right now, but I will also say she is an AP champion, and generally AP champions are weaker in the early game because they take a lot more scaling. So we'll see how she feels as the game goes on. Uh oh. You thought it was an auto attack on a champ that res res reset the ult, or maybe. Uh. 
Do, 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 do. If Gwen hits an enemy with an attack or ability. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So you press your R, and if, if you do anything, it then lets you hit the second part to it. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. That's a lot easier to do. Man, I'd love to TP down there. And I don't normally see Mordekaiser's building tank, by the way. Usually mords do build AP, so it's a bit... It's a bit weird. Chem tank. Well, chem tank just got mega nerfed, so I doubt chem tank is worth going on a lot of champions now. The struggle is worth it. She doesn't do much damage, does she? And she's not. See, this is the problem. This champion could be worthless because it's season eleven. And what I mean by that is she doesn't seem to do any type of burst, like at all. She's like very small amounts of damage that adds up, you know, as a duelist. Season 11 meta and what Riot's done is basically made little bits of damage pointless or poke pointless because of how much healing is in the game and everything's burst. So she might actually be terrible in season 11. This might be the first new champion that is nothing to do with the current meta in the game. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Wouldn't surprise me, just with how Riot is, is that the meta, they might finally change the burst meta because of this champion. Because Riot wouldn't want to release a champion that's literally never going to be used because it doesn't suit the meta. So watch now. In two weeks, next patch notes, suddenly they'll calm down burst. Would not surprise me at all. Because this champion doesn't seem like it's going to cope with a burst meta because she does no form of burst. I was thinking about going down, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, the mod... I don't know. Again, we are against Twitch subs. I think the mod has just picked one mod and building the way he is literally just to counter pick. Which, you know, I, I can't blame people, I guess. But it's not the best uh, testing for Gwen, it has to be said. Oh my god, dude. I have the whole enemy team top. Okay. <laughs> Three people top plane. That was fun. Hmm. Okay. Can you stop spamming questions, dude? I know it's your first time in the stream, but yeah, stop. You've been spamming the whole stream. Calm down a little bit. What does the E upgrade like, update give? Attack speed, on hit magic damage, 100 range. And refunds 50% of the ability cooldown so you can do it more often. Eh, first impression everybody. Again, we're going to learn more about the champ. I'm underwhelmed, but we'll see. It might, it might just be because we're against Maud and this is just not very fun. So next game, I'm going to maybe ask somebody not to do something like this. Maybe I'll actually ask someone to play a duelist. She does no damage. Hmm. 
A lot of people bot lane. Which boots are the shop recommending? Pretty much any of them. <laughs> I think she's going to be a relatively versatile champion. But yeah, it's a very little damage right now. People have said in Twitch chat that she scales incredibly well. Which again, she's an AP champion, so that doesn't surprise me. But if she doesn't really have a great early game and she does no burst damage, I don't see this champion being popular. Like, I just don't. I just don't see in current meta how it will be popular. Hmm... <laughs> the result do basically old Aurelia ult they've recycled a, an ability that they got rid of years ago because I don't even know I don't think I can fight this mod it doesn't feel like I can does she have CC? no literally none Because the problem, right, this Maud, I can't go near him because he outdamages me, and that means I don't do any damage to him. Because I've got to be next to him to do anything. This feels... I don't know, maybe this is just literally like her worst matchup she can ever have. I don't know. Hmm. I wouldn't probably try Grasp on her. I don't know if Grasp would suit this champion. Oh, probably dead. Oh! Oh. At least I didn't die. Hmm. Well, this is just going to be how the game is going now, I guess. we got to just wait for items and see if we do better later. I'm not beating this Maud. There's no chance in hell. He's too tanky. A passive... Gwen attacks deal additional 2% max health magic damage on hit. Gwen recovers, like, she gets life steal if she attacks enemy champions, basically. Which is, again, the duelist. But, like, this matchup, as I mentioned, that doesn't really matter much because I never could auto attack this Maud. Or at least right now. Again, it's only my first game. Or oh, can you. Oh, it can go over walls. Um, I don't have the confidence right now to do it. Maybe, you know, if I... With more knowledge of the champion, maybe right now I can kill the Maud if I played it really well. It just doesn't feel like I can. And that's all I can go off right now is feel. Like, that just doesn't feel like a lot of damage. Like, even on minions. Okay, enemy team. Why? Why is there so many people top plane? What's this about, man? <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay. Cool. Hmm. 
I thought she'd feel a bit smoother. Again, it might just be me. This is the first game playing it, so it's very possible. Oh my god, you can block Orianna. You, again, you can block anything, that's the point. Because Orianna wasn't in my thing, I ignored the Oriole. Again, other people don't ignore it on my team, but I did. Damn. Hey, son, Vegito. Oh, careful, guys. We should back off, go by, and look to do that. Okay. I'm kind of thinking that... So, again, I'm just saying my thoughts, like, at throughout. I'm just thinking this is a terrible matchup for her. Because, like, Maud is, like, an anti... Like, little duelist type of person. Like, when you are so reliant on auto-attacking early and I can't auto-attack a Maud, obviously it's going to be a bit problematic. So this just seemed a really big... Re like, my first ever time playing this champion, I think we got given a terrible matchup. Okay, dude, I've got to give you a, a, your second and final warning before a timeout. You spamming so many questions. Please stop. <laughs> Holy moly. Calm down. First, again, I know sometimes people get a bit excited at the first time over the stream. But calm down a little bit. Uh... Okay. Surprise, Caitlyn lived. Well, that's the problem, I guess, with this Maud build. It's tanky. It does sustained damage, not actual damage. So, Hard to get kills. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Champion wise, she doesn't do a lot of damage. You can E mid Q. Yeah, you can, okay. She doesn't do a lot of damage. She is legitimately a duelist. In the fact that she does very little damage, but she does a lot of damage in a fast amount of time. Like that, I do no damage. Holy moly. Okay. AP Aurelia. She does less damage than Aurelia. Aurelia does burst. This champion does no burst. Who is this champion even like? She's like a weaker AP Fiora. Like, I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe there's a different build. I, I don't know. But this just feels, well, I don't know, very lacklustre. We'll see, though. Because obviously, what I, sh I maybe I just shouldn't be grouping, but here's the problem. I don't think she's designed to be a 1v1 duelist. But the problem, right, this game, I don't beat him. I, I, I don't beat this Maud. So... If I go split push and Maud comes to me, then I don't do anything to him. Maybe Rift... Are they a Murf Maker, maybe? He's underwhelming? I don't know. Again, it's the first game. Of course, there's going to be learnings. Uh-oh. Uh, they should be fun. Yeah, it's going to take a while to figure it out. I just say, game one, i, I got to give my just honest, raw thoughts. I'm a little bit underwhelmed after game one. But maybe there's a different build or whatever that will make that feeling different. But after game one, eh. Like, you guys, can you guys see? I'm doing no damage. Like, even to these minions, you can tell I'm not doing much damage. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. 
It feels like so little damage. Okay, Omni Vamp was nice though. Thanks, team. Omni Vamp saved my life and well and my teammates. So it's saying God, she's like a proper AP champion, isn't she? God, it's just so weird. It's like a new it's a new type of champ. So I'm building AP mage. Kinda. Oh, it's so weird. There's a Q apply on hit. Uh No. Doesn't look like it. Nashes could definitely be good on her as well. <laughs> well then i'm dead i got a limit test and it didn't <laughs> it's just this, mm, it doesn't do that much hmm. no i don't think she's any and she's nothing to do with hybrid she, you won't be building any ad or anything like that on this champion she literally has no scaling of ad at all She's purely AP. Q procs passive. Uh, yes. And the R, yeah. Just kind of maybe even feels like this champion needs like four, four items or something to be like, okay, now I do stuff. I'm on my way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. I don't do any burst at all, though. Again, it's so weird to me. What's weirding me out is this champion feels like she just does no burst. In the last few years, Riot has prioritized burst on everything. So it's like... This is so against what Riot themselves has done in the last, like, year or two. It's really weirding me out. It's really low. Not many mana probs? No. That's so little damage. Hmm. I'm going to try a different, a different build next game. No, she's not a jungler at all. Literally at all. I would probably say people would kind of be trolling if they tried to take this champion into the, into the jungle. She hasn't got an ounce of CC and her engage is really bad. Like, guys, that's her engage. Uh-oh. Weird. I, 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 this is, I would say, normally when a new champion comes out, I'm pretty good at be like having pretty good thoughts about a champ. I'm not sure about this one. I, I, I'm a little bit stumped. Towers don't count, I guess, because it's true damage. True damage will ignore her W.
Hmm. I don't know. This is going to take another, at least another game, different build, to actually fully realize if she's any good. This is very weird. I'm actually surprised I did that much damage. Okay, um, if I'm uploading this, because this is like my raw thoughts, I'm not that impressed with the champ. But I also think we got a terrible matchup, like Tank Mordekaiser. I think that's just a really bad matchup for this champion anyway. Um, so next game, we'll request whoever goes top lane against me, don't play something like Tank Mord. Let's go with something that we actually can have duels, because you can't duel really against a Tank Mord in the early game. So let's let's go against like a duelist next game, and that might be better. And we're also going to try a different build. But yeah, very weird. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about it. And that's weird. Because normally, normally I've got a pretty good gauge after game one. I don't right now. It's very weird. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed at least the first impressions uh, and the more raw thoughts, again, probably very different to other YouTubers that's trying to claim this champion is stupidly overpowered and everything. I don't think she is, at least not yet. Uh, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and we'll try another game. True damage? Uh, sure. So I did four... Oh, okay, so out of my... Uh, wait, wait, wait. So out of my 18,000 damage, fi nearly 5,000 of it was true damage. Okay. But that's going to be it. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.